on my way. We are on our way down to the floor decor store in uh, Ar Arvada. <laughs> Is that where we're going? Arvada. So Arvada. And uh, anyway, we've got our trailer on the back, headed down. I'm gonna pick out some flooring. We'll see what we can come back with. We don't know what they've got in stock, so we're gonna take a look and see. But uh, this is the fun part. <laughs> got like 10 different things to get. 10 different things to get. Mm. Stocking up. <laughs> Here we are. Floor and decor. Where do we start? Walk away, work our way around. Yeah. This one looks promising. So when we're looking at the flooring, you know, it's these panels are like big, you know, six inch wide panels, but they're comprised of smaller little sections of wood when you look at the back of it. It's like little two inch sections mm -hmm. all glued together. It's kind of cool. To each piece of flooring, they had these description cards. So it described the, you know, the style and the strength. So that was helpful. And then it was time to move on to the tile, the stone. So the first thing we kind of looked at was like the ledger stone and the varieties that they had, the color varieties. And we were thinking, we really were looking for something specific for the wood stove area. And we moved out of stone and into the porcelain tile. And I actually found this section to be sort of the most fascinating in the store because what they were able to do with the tile. So you could get like a wood effect. You could get um, an antiqued wood, like a barn wood look. You can get like a, a paint scraped, an old washed out vintage look. It was just kind of cool to think like, oh, I, I thought I was looking at wood, but actually I'm looking at porcelain tile. And to keep track of the ones that we liked. So we're taking photos and making notes and trying to catch the pricing just so we could keep track because the store was so big, it was easy to get lost. We're trying to go around, trying to find some other fun elements, pops of color, little tiles that would give us uh, some artistic design. So we're, I mean, we're browsing shelves and shelves of these decorative tiles, you know, finding things that looked like pebbles and little bricks. And it was just, it was definitely a fun part as well. But eventually we made our way to the checkout line and this is just one of our carts. And we were even serenaded. <laughs> Well, we're having to get all of our tiling and flooring in multiple trips because it's a lot of stone, it's a lot of rock, and I think this load is probably close to 800 pounds, maybe 700 pounds, uh, in the back of Brian's car here, and anyhow. We, he came home with a bunch of stuff yesterday. So we're just unloading it and then putting it inside. This is gonna go in the corner where the wood stove was. I mean, it's still right here, but we gotta move it out. It's not even connected. So I'm gonna stack up uh, the slate right here. This is what's gonna go into the shower. I'm trying to see if I can get a good, it's called multicolor slate. And so it's a lot of grays and reds and browns and once you put the sealer on it, there's a nice shiny sealer. It really makes all the colors pop. So right now everything looks pretty gray, but it'll darken up quite a bit and all the colors will pop out once we put that sealant on. And over here, this is what I'm really excited about, the tiling for the kitchen and the bath area. I wonder if I can open up one of these and show you guys what it looks like. This is a lot of tile. This is the porcelain tile and it has the wood grain look to it. So it's really cool. It's going to be really got durable. The slate for the shower. We're expecting more. We've got more stone tile that we're going to be putting into the shower as well, more detailed stuff, but they didn't have all of the supply that we needed. So we had to put an order in for that and that they'll call us when that's available. So we do have more to pick up for the shower and we have more rock ledge, which is what we're using for the accent wall near the vanity, as well as behind the wood stove. That's really pretty as well. It looks more like a serpentine green, green gray right out of the box, but once you have that sealer on it, the sealant, which we saw in the store, has a really nice granite look, which is more of like a dark, dark gray, like a charcoal color. So I think that's gonna look great. 
Uh, so we have about one more palette of those to pick up. I couldn't pick those up with the slate because it was way too much weight for the FGA Cruiser. So uh, maybe if I have to pick up Brian this afternoon, if the car is not ready, we can pick up that last bit of, um, of the granite ledge, ledger stone for the wood stove area. So it's just a lot of trips and we're just, you know, going down and getting it when we can, but it's fun. I mean, it's, we're going to put it all in storage here and we'll be ready for us when we're ready to get to those, those sections. So I think we'll start with the wall finishes first and then move on to the floor after that. I think in a point where things will look really cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is where all of the style and the artistry happened. We picked out our wood floor yesterday. And we're going to also use, so we're going to use it for the living area, as well as the loft, as well as the accent wall in the bathroom. So the tub and front wall of the toilet will have this nice wood paneling. We're not talking no, this is not pergo, this is real oak. Yeah. Awesome! Awesome! Oh, that's not it. That's the bottom. That's the bottom. That. Okay. So, we had talked about the circular sun. This is hand scraped yep. oak and stained, pre finished, harder than most woods that you can get. The, was it the Jenko rating was 1300 or something like that? No, I think it was 16 or 1700. Oh, 1600, yeah. yeah. Well, so, the that's other a, ones was pretty low. So this is a, how hard of a wood it will be, a good surface. So good for Vigo, not gonna build, he's not going to be tearing it up with his uh, claws and everything. But it does have some texture on here, hand scraped, got a little bit of texture, so, you know. And it's tiny, it's like tiny boards put together. Mm -hmm. Almost like a, like a parquet. Parquet, yeah. But, but then it's in an eight inch plank. Yeah, eight inch. And so, where is this going to go? In three different places. The downstairs here, the loft, and then the wall in the bathroom. I already said that. Oh. <laughs> you stole my thunder. I stole your thunder. So we thought in an effort to minimize uh, 18 different patterns or whatever, we would kind of use the same look. So this will be the alcove of the tub. Yeah, so let's see we'll go. And in front of the toilet, we'll continue that on into the front of the toilet with this wood. So I'll have it like a nice dark. Yeah. So it'll go all the way here. And then the door for the bathroom obviously will be there. Mm -hmm. So this whole wall, the ceiling, and then a whole wall in that two foot section. Five boxes here, maybe 25 more to pick up. We, now that we're back from the store and we loaded up our car and every time we have to go down the mountain, we get another load because the stuff is so heavy. All this tile and wood is a lot of weight for the car. So we had to do multiple trips, but we have a good stack up here and I wanted to unbox some of it and let you see what we picked out. So it's a little bit different than what we picked out in the previous video. You know, we've gotten some ideas online and we thought, oh, this looks really nice or this would make a nice floor and this would make a nice wall covering. But we thought twice about selecting maybe six or seven different patterns or different looks. We actually thought it would look better to kind of stay more continuous with our design. So using some of the same flooring on the wall as on the floor and um, continuing like the living area flooring into the vanity area. Just that way we would have some continuity and keeping the flooring the same up in the loft area. We just didn't want to have, um, you know, three different, four different floor coverings because that would have been just a little bit crazy in just the what's eventually going to be only the master bedroom suite. So what I'm going to start with is the shower area. That one has the most variety at this point. Um, what you saw me unloading earlier was a bunch of slate tile. This is very large 12 by 24 slate tile. And there it's multicolored. This looks mostly gray. There is some like lighter brown color. Um, and another thing that we purchased at the store was a tile sealant and a rock sealant. So I'm going to mimic the effect with the sponge. So where everything's kind of gray and powdery right now, once you do a sealant, 
you're going to get more of the shiny and you're going to get more of the color variations. So just like magic. <laughs> so you can kind of see the colors pop out a little bit more and uh, it's going to have a brighter, more, I don't know, more vibrant look to it. Plus it'll be in the shower. So it's always going to be getting, be dark anyway. So the, the slate tile, I should explain, the slate tile is going to go on the lower half of the shower and then we're going to make kind of like a chair railing divider with another sort of tile that we picked out. So we picked out this multicolor sort of like a flagstone. So this will be sort of like a chair railing and let's get some wet color here and just kind of show you how pretty that's going to be once it's sealed. So some grays and reds and oranges. So this is going to be like sort of the transition area. And then one more tile for the shower is this small um, peacock tile. So it's multicolored again. And we wanted to pick something small because this is going to be both the ceiling of the shower as well as the floor. And that's just going to make it, because it's smaller, it's just, it has better um, bending ability and we're not going to have to do as many cuts to sort of get the, uh, what am I trying to say, the um, slope of like the shower pan. Uh, so it's going to be easier to do when you've got smaller pieces. So let's see how this looks. Wet down. Like... So yeah, really cool looking. You get yellow and blue and pink and so it's called Peacock. Peacock Flagstone. Well, I don't know if it's called Flagstone, but Peacock Tile. Um, like a slate, Peacock Slate Tile. So I think it's gonna look super pretty in the shower. I just didn't want the whole shower to be the small tile. I thought that would have been a little bit too much. So it's gonna be a nice relief with this on the upper half of the shower blending into the ceiling. And then we had that really dark slatey tile and then underneath we'll have this dark slate tile and with that um, brick-like border in between so i think that'll look really cool that's the shower the shower has three different tile elements to it all natural stone look okay and we picked out one other really fun element, design element for transitioning from the hardwood floor into the uh, bathroom area where we're going to have tile and that as well as the kitchen area that's going to be tiled into the living room area. So we have a really fun transition and it's going to go with our natural theme. So that's this flat rock, round stone. And again, it has like a nice color to it, variety of colors, yellows and greens and blues and pinks. So that'll be super fun, I think, as a transition area going from the tile to the wood floor. So it's going to continue with that natural um, nature element that we kind of have going on with the design of the house. Okay. And one other um, wall covering that we picked out, where it's going to go in two areas. One is behind the wood stove, and the other is going to be behind the vanity area in the bathroom. And that is this... Um, granite ledger stone. I actually think it looks like soapstone to me. It's very shiny and flaky, but apparently it's granite. So it looks super silvery, but this one changes a lot when you put the dark, uh, when you put the um, sealant on it. So once you wet it down and moisten it, it gets a lot darker. And in the store, it was almost like a charcoal gray. So trying to approximate what that might look like without direct light on it from the outside but uh so anyway that's gonna look so imagine that behind the you know the wood stove going all the way up to the ceiling it's gonna almost mimic the look of a chimney and then we'll continue the same element into the bathroom area just one accent wall behind the vanity and just you know have a nice stone look and the drywall guys are still working upstairs. I was going to give you a sneak peek today of how it's turned out because they're just doing the finishing touches, but I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for the next video because, or another video to come because um, I want to be surprised with, like when the mudding is all finished and just how different it all looks. So we'll, um, we'll save that for a future video. So one last piece is the 
uh, tiling that is going to go into the kitchen as well as the bathroom. So I decided, you know, we thought it would be a better option just to continue the same flooring, kitchen, bathroom, and that way, you know, we're kind of simplifying and continuing our design. And I don't know if, how much you guys have looked at flooring these days, but there are so many cool options with tile, especially the porcelain tile and like, sort of like the print finishes that you can do on them. So like you might have seen in the beginning of the, on the video thumbnail, um, the tile that we picked is actually like a wood look. So this is real, you know, tile, and it's in this long, um, oh, I forget what this is, measurement-wise, 32 by you know, six inch piece or something like that. So it kind of has like the print of an old um, painted stripped um, wooden plank. And then in the same package, you know, you're getting color variation. So we can put that together with a, a lighter color. So this one looks like it's distressed, you know, off white. So it kind of goes, you know, dark light, dark light. And I think there's even like a blue color and it just looked so cool in the store. I think you'd seen earlier with the things that we were looking at, this is the one that I was drawn to, but isn't, it's just, I think it's so cool that it's, you know, it looks like wood, but it's not. And it's going to have that durability of tile, especially like in the entry area into the kitchen and like that waterproofing that you're going to need in the bathroom area. So this one's going to look really cool. It's going to still look rustic and it's going to look, um, you know, like it's old fashioned and it's going to have the wood look, but it's actually tile. So that, I don't know, I think I'm the most excited about these pieces. I think that it's going to have a really nice character added to the house where everything doesn't look like it's spick and span brand new. It's going to look a little bit, you know, more rustic and worn in, broken in. <laughs> so... For all my Games of Thrones fans out there, um, all I want for Christmas is snow. Hope you guys do. I'm looking forward to the final season coming out this spring. And I think, you know, in the new year, we're going to be ready to rock it out with putting all of this flooring together. So all the pieces are coming together and they're all, we've got them all at the house now. Uh, the only thing left we have to pick up is the wood flooring. So there's quite a few boxes of that and we can only bring in a few at a time uh, in the trailer because of, because of the weight. So we'll just have to do a few more trips, but Anyway, we're, I'm definitely excited. Brian's excited. We're excited to, you know, enjoy a little Christmas break and get, you know, revved up for the new year and, you know, get rolling with our flooring. We're getting to the fun part, getting all those design elements in and uh, see, you know, finally see the house come together. So we are so happy that you guys uh, have joined us in our journey and supported us. If you're, whether you're new or you've been supporting us all year by your, you know, your kind comments and feedback, it's been a blast. You know, I thought it would be really fun to do a YouTube channel on this whole journey and to see, you know, it would be a great documentation of our whole experience and it has been so far. And we've gotten some great advice and some, maybe, you know, some new friends in a way. <laughs> so um, we'll keep you guys posted. We'll probably, How do you like our flooring choices? What do you guys think? Uh, do you think it's a good idea to kind of continue the same pattern? You know, I'm picturing this look in the kitchen as well as the bathroom and keeping the wood floor consistent, not changing it up and doing too many wood floor styles, keeping the tile pretty consistent. Anyway, I think it was, it's easy to kind of go crazy when you have a thousand choices to look at at the store, but you ultimately want to, you know, have a cohesive theme in the house. So it would not, you know, not getting too overwhelmed and crazy with all the, all the stuff you can do because there's so much you can do. There's no rush to get it all done now because we have the rest of the house to build and we can add more fun elements uh, later on. So anyway, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas um, and Happy New Year if you don't hear from us, but also stay tuned for the next video. I will give you an update on how our year has turned out. All right, take care. Bye-bye. This one looks promising.